Hey guys, welcome back, it's Infinite Gaming HD, and guys, this is the second attempt at making this video. Anyway, let's get straight in. In today's video, we're going to show you how to make teams so that you can respawn on a spawner. So the two, thing, the two things you're going to need on either side, if you go to the view, you want to open Explorer and Properties. These are the only two you're going to really need for this. So what you want to do, first of all, you want to go to Model. So before anything, we want to insert the team, you want to go to Service and your team one should pop up, you click on team and you click insert I've already done that as you can see, we can delete that you can already see my teams is there already what you want to do is you want to right click on teams, you want to click insert object and the first thing that should come up is team if not you can always look for it and you could always just search for team like that and insert team now we're going to make two teams, we're going to call one allies and we're going to duplicate another one and call it axes oh. We want to read. We want to make this one, for example, color red, and this one, color blue. So what you want to do is you want to click on works. So you want to click on here and just right click, insert object, and you want to click spawn location. So this spawn location can be for the allies. So we're going to rename this allies. And what color was the allies? The colors allies was red. We're now going to change this color to red, just for aesthetic. You do not actually have to do this. This is just for me personal reference and this one will be for the axes so we'll rename this axes and we'll change this to blue so basically this hasn't actually done anything you, these still don't work, what you want to do is you want to, right -click, you want to click on it you want to go down to where the thing says teams, if it's not already open, open it you want to click off neutral and you want to change the colour to the same colour of the team like so and then you want to click on the other one and do exactly the same for that and there you go, that's done. If you do not have a way for them to change, like for example, a team change UI or something like that, you can click on it and you can always go down back to the teams and allow team change on touch and do that for both. And then when you play the game, for example, so I'm on the axes by default. All you want to do is if I want to change to allies, you click allies, you click that one, click reset character and so Ooh. on. When you reset, you will respawn on this one. And there we go, guys. You can do this as many times as you want. You can make as many of these as you want. And you can even duplicate spawners to have them in different places. So, for example, if you wanted it to spawn once there, and then you wanted another one over there and there and there, example, except. So, like, if you wanted to do it to, so like, a game... Like a bit like Call of Duty, but you make a Roblox version. You can do that where you can spawn in different locations, and people can pick different locations and stuff like that. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there'll be another video soon for data stores and how to store money or cash and stuff like that. And whenever you join back, it can be in the leaderboard and stuff like that. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. It's quite fun me making these videos, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.